Let's hope this goes well because I should be wearing my glasses, but there's too much of a glare. So, hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm so excited about this video today, guys, because not only is it a brand new box that I'm going to be unboxing, but I'm also going to be showing you my Halloween decorations that are all around my house. I have really prepared for Halloween this year. I'm really happy with how everything looks. It's not like crazy. I mean, every single year I do plan on getting more Halloween decorations and getting even spookier every single year, but it it is definitely a little bit spookier than last year. I love how everything turned out and I really am so excited to show you guys how everything looks. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm gonna be putting that at the end of my video. So I will leave a link down below letting you know at what point in the video is going to be just my Halloween decorations in case you wanted to watch that first. But yeah, I can't wait to show you my bookshelves, my book room, my living room, my everything because I'm so excited about Halloween. I love Halloween. I love Halloween. You guys know you know. So let's get into first this brand new box that I'm going to be unboxing and that's going to be Fake Crate. I have unboxed this actually on my channel a couple of times I believe but this is the first time where I have a code to share with you guys. Fake Crate reached out to me which is so exciting. You guys know I've been a huge fan of their hangover kits and basically their boxes in general as well for quite some time so when they reached out to me asking if I would love to try out their box for a few months and so when they told me that they would also give me a code for you guys to use to get 5% off any monthly box and their past items sales shop. I was so here for it. That code is Brittany and it is 5% off a monthly box order and the past item sales shop, which their past items are phenomenal. I highly recommend checking them out. I'm so excited about this, guys. Fake Crate is an amazing brand. They make amazing hangover kits and I just can't wait to open this box and see what's in it with you guys. So let's do that because I always lose my knife. Is it like hiding? Where would I put my knife? I am not wearing my glasses. Okay. As per usual, I had misplaced my knife, but it's here now. So let's open her up. Let's just like stare first aesthetically at this box. The beautiful Fake Crate logo, the beautiful kind of like pinkish purple, and it says caution magic inside. And the sides say let's live a thousand lives together, and I think that's just so sweet. So let's get into it. This is dangerous. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love black and purple together, guys. That is my aesthetic for Halloween, and apparently everyone is just really, really giving it to me this year. After I unstuck it, it looks like this. Everything is packaged so neatly. So first, let's grab the spoiler card. It's super glossy. It's a beautiful print of this girl and this guy fighting, and I love it. Oh, it looks like it was made by Gabriella Bougedoso, and I think her art is phenomenal. After that, I'm not gonna look at the back because spoilers. Oh my god, I said I wasn't gonna say that anymore. Okay, that was the last time. So first, let's grab these. They look like cookie cutters. Oh my gosh, wait, that's exciting. Oh, these totally have to be cookie cutters. We have two like throwing star style cookie cutters. I believe they are, let's double check. Yes, oh my gosh, I was right. Okay, so it's a throwing star cookie cutter set and it says bake some killer cookies with these babies. Also a weapon in a pinch, which I just think is adorable. I actually love baking, I never get around to it, but I've always wanted to have like little cookie cutters that would make different designs for my cookies and I feel like these are gonna be really great for Christmas actually, because even though like it's kind of a throwing star shape, they're gonna gonna be great for stars, you know? That's really cute. Okay, what's next? Oh my gosh, wait, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, so it says, why be the sheep when you can be the wolf? And inside, I'm hearing clanging. We got, st oh my gosh, is this a boba straw? That's so exciting, I hope it is. So we have three different metal straws and one of them is just the straight up metal straw. The other one has a bend in it, which is really nice. And this one is a thick one. And I wanna say that this is for boba, which is actually phenomenal. So well thought out because guess what? I drink boba all the time and there's never any metal straws for this. There's actually been occasions where they forgot to put a straw in my thing and then I'm just screwed because no straws will fit boba through it. So I'm really excited excited about this. I hope that it is for Boba. I mean, either way, I'm gonna use it for it, so. So it's a Grave Mercy stainless steel straw set, and it says, take mercy on the planet with these Grave Mercy stainless straws. Oh, I forgot to tell you what the theme for this month is, but I don't know where it says it. Oh, it's Courting Danger. There we go. So the September theme is Courting Danger. It doesn't say specifically if this is a Boba straw, but it is, like, really thick. It's huge. And I'm gonna use it for Boba, so. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. I love getting all this like reusable utensils in boxes. I think it's such an amazing like trend that's going on because 
Come on guys, we have to save the planet. <laughs> Apparently no one else will, so it's our job. I'm really happy, I'm so excited about that boba one. I'm definitely gonna stop getting boba straws whenever I get boba, and then I'm just gonna use my metal one. It's so exciting. Next up, we have Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little notepad, but for recipes. That's really cool. Come on, knife, do your job. Okay, maybe not doing it on the front would be better. Ooh, it's like glossy paper. Oh my gosh, it's not like a notepad. It's actually just like a stack of papers that are for recipes. And it says recipe four, and then it has the ingredients, and then it has a whole little area for instructions. This is really cool, and it has an apple on it with a C. I don't want to assume that this is, um... Cruel Prince themed, but I feel like it is, so <laughs> let's look. It says a perfect match for your recipe album, or you can write all of your secrets in code to hide your plans for world domination. This is really cute. I am gonna give this, well, I'm not gonna give this, but anytime that I want a recipe from someone, I'm gonna be like, hey, here's a card, put the recipe down because I want to know how to make this. I'm not one for like making my own recipes. I'm just not like that creative, but I'm definitely gonna have to give this to my dad because he has a ton of recipes that I want to know the recipes for. So same with my mom. And you know, anytime I go over to a friend's house, I'm gonna keep that in my purse and be like, can you tell me your recipe? So next up, ooh, are these, are these tea towels? Wait, what is the, oh my gosh, is it an apron? <gasps> I don't have an apron, this is so cool. <laughs> So it says too hot to care and I kind of love it. This is so cute. Oh, this is adorable It's just like yeah, I like it. This is cool Well, most of the things have already been kind of like kitchen themed so like the straws and the cookie cutters and the recipe sheets and your apron I'm really into that like it's really trying to get me to cook. I love that. Okay. It's an Aida apron by Kit Kronk Studios so I don't know what that means. Oh! Shows how you really feel with an apron splashed with some out of context Elias from an ember in the ashes. Wait, I love that. Okay. <laughs> Had no idea that that was out of context. So that's really cool. What's next? Oh my gosh, guys. I was totally right. It was Cruel Prince themed. <gasps> Wait, that's so cool. You can make your own album. Or not album, but like your own book. This is so cool. It has like little apples all over it. It says recipes for disaster, chaos, and mischief for scheming fae and humans alike. And it says Cardon's recipes for disaster with a pinch of chaos to get your tail wagging. Oh my God, this is actually so cool. <gasps> That's so cool. So these fit into here and then you have all your recipes in a little book. Guys, that is so well thought out. That is one of the coolest things I've ever gotten in a box. Like so versatile, so handy, so useful useful and it's just so perfect. I'm 100% gonna have to fill this up with recipes and then have it in my kitchen for the rest of my life. I love this. This is the perfect kind of item that I like in boxes where it's just a hint of a popular series or book or anything that I might like while also having the versatility to be used for your everyday life. Currently, I suck at cooking, but eventually I might not. I'm very happy with that. Ooh, what's this? What's this? <laughs> so they have a coin that comes in all of their boxes. I got one recently in the Dark Dawn hangover crate. Don't worry guys, there's a whole video of Dark Dawn kits coming your way. But we got a coin in that one too, and it just is a really, really cool coin that says Fate Crate, live a thousand lives together, estate 2018. And this one on the back says House Calore, which I'm assuming might have to do with the book. So that's really, really cool. I'm fond of that. I like the coin idea. I don't know exactly how I want to use them yet, if I want to make like magnets out of them, if I want to make necklaces out of them, kind of like have it like an amulet that I can interchange, but I'm gonna definitely do something with it, so. And we have these two little pins that say Shadow Frost. One is an actual enamel pin and the other one is, oh, like a coin to put on a necklace. That's cool. I like that they're the exact same design, but you can use them for different things. That's really cool. <gasps> Fancrate's really out here trying to make me a better chef, and I appreciate that. <laughs> because we got a cute little oven thing. Like, this is what you, like, pull stuff out of the oven with, or you can put it under your teapot when you're making tea. And it says, imagined and it shall be, there are no limits. This box is so sick. I'm really happy with it. I love that it's all been themed around kitchen stuff and I love how much I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of these items. Oh, so it's a Red Queen collector's coin. 
So we are made of flame and shadows. Cal is a favorite of ours, so we had to include him in our coin collection. Okay, I haven't read Red Queen, but I definitely want to, so that's cool. And then, Crown's Game Pot Holder. Um, oh wait, I've read Crown's Game. <laughs> I'm a fake fan, that was one of my favorite books of last year. Uh, it's a Crown's Game Pot Holder. Bring some imagination into the kitchen with a Crown's Game inspired pot holder. Your limits will be endless. I love that, this is so cool. So we got a Polaroid that says the great kitchen disaster of 2012. Oh, this is a dark artifices inspired one. I think that's hilarious. Okay. Baking pancakes, baking, baking pancakes, or trying to at least. No blackthorns were harmed in this disaster. That's so funny. I love their little Polaroids. I remember last year when I had gotten a fake crate box, they also had a Polaroid. So I wonder if that's something that they do in all of their boxes or if it's like every once in a while. All right. I think we're getting into the book, which like, honestly, it's about time because this is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of really cool stuff. And we have, oh, we have a little autograph and it says with love. We've never said with love in any of the book plates I've gotten before. Thank you. Appreciate it. And there's a little heart on it too. And then we got a free audiobook download, which is for Shadow Frost, which is super cool. Oh my gosh, wait, it's actually for the book. I love that! Because you guys know I love owning the physical books, but I will read an audiobook like 70% of the time. So I think that that's really cool. That's a great way to, I don't know, I, I think that's amazing. That's a really cool aspect that they do. And we have this awesome card. I think it's a letter from the author and it says, be my shadow, be death. That's actually just really a pretty card. I would definitely hang this up on my print wall. I love those color schemes all together. And then we also have a bookmark and oh, I think it has like the tagline for Shadow Frost and it says she only has one job to kill a demon that cannot die. Okay. And we got the book which is so freaking pretty. Okay, go off Shadow Frost. Like that is so freaking stunning. It has like these frostbitten leaves that are flowing into like a fire with changing colors. It's very Pocahontas, you know? So I'm into this. I don't know this book. I haven't heard anything about this, but I love that they included an audiobook download for it. Like that's 100% gonna get me to read this book even faster than I would have originally. You guys know I love audiobooks, so that's a great way to get people to read. Bravo. So let's read the summary. It says, in the kingdom of Exaria, a darkness rises. Some call it a monster laying waste to the villagers and their homes. Some say it is an invulnerable demon summoned from the deepest abysses of the immortal realm. Many soldiers from the royal guard are sent out to hunt it down. Not one has ever returned. When Astrin Fallenheart, princess of Exaria and heir to the throne, discovers that she may hold the key to defeating the mysterious demon terrorizing her kingdom, she vows not to rest until the beast is slain. With the help of her friends and the powers she wields, though has yet to fully understand, Astrin sets out to complete a single task. The task that countless trained soldiers have failed to kill it. But as they hunt for the demon, they unearth a plot to assassinate the princess herself instead. Astrin and her companions begin to wonder how much of their lives have been lies especially when they realize that the center of the web of deceit might very well be themselves. With no one else to turn to, they are forced to decide just how much they are willing to sacrifice to protect the only world they've ever known. That is, if the demon doesn't get to them first. From young author Coco Ma comes a dazzling new tale of adventure, power, and betrayal, weaving together a stunning world of magic with a killer cast and an explosive, unforgettable debut. That sounds amazing! Again, the fact that they included a free audiobook download is 100% gonna make me read this way faster than if they had just included the book. So I think that that is such a smart move on Fake Crate's part. So that's it, unless you did get, they do have um, a few different versions of their monthly boxes. They have the version that's just the shirt, the version that's just the books and all the items in it, and the version that's the box plus the books and the items plus the shirt, because they create a new shirt every single month. So yeah, and it looks like it was a Red Rising shirt. Honestly, so cool. Okay, so this is what I was thinking of. They also normally include a free ebook download just on the backs of their cards, which is really cool. And it's for a different book entirely. And that is really freaking cool. I'm so, so impressed by this box. Like when I got them last year, they had just started up. They were an up and coming box and they've really like shown that with a little time, they've become really freaking amazing. Like very, very good. I'm absolutely so impressed. This box was so cool. Thank you so much to Fake Rate for sending me this. I'm 100% gonna get use out of every single item in this box. I think that my favorite thing is definitely the recipe sheets with the cooking book to put it inside of, but everything in here was really cool. So I'm actually the boba straw was was really cool as well. It's hard to say. So thank you so much to Bakerate for sending me this box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. And now let's get into my Halloween decorations because I'm really excited to show you guys that too. Let's go.
So for the tops of my shelves, I really just didn't add any decorations. I obviously kept my BB-8 right there. I have a Mia Corvair plushie, a couple of chess pieces of the end trick, and then I have my Will Herondale plushie. And over here, I just have my bookmarks inside a Nevernight mug and my other bookmarks inside of my library stack mug. And I had that uh, little witch print at the top, a little Dorian candle, some more Mia Corvair stuff from Nevernight. And here we have my little Jack Skellington with zero and a pumpkin. And then this is my favorite pumpkin that I have on my shelves. It's like a white one with black constellations all over it. It's so pretty. Got it at Target. Moving on to the shelves under this, I just have a little snow globe with a creepy black cat inside of it with uh, one of my cat's collars hanging off of it and a pumpkin. And here I have a little black cat style potion bottle next to a little pumpkin. And moving over, you can see a silver pumpkin thing that I actually found while thrifting and just my normal Shadow Hunter light. And moving on, I also have this little area. Obviously, running under these, I have these cute little fall colored leaves that I think really put it together. And then here's just a Raven's Brew surrounded by pumpkins. I love how this book looks stood on my little classics shelf. It's just the one that I hauled in my Halloween haul and it says when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers tis near Halloween, double double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. It's probably my favorite Halloween decoration. And we have my shelf. Um, this one I kept pretty simple but I like it. We have just the Ollivander's wand case and a wand that actually one of you guys made me lying on top of it. A chocolate frog box and then my book of spells stack of books which I got I think last year. And right on top of it I just have this little wall art that says fortune favors the brave with a cool moth face on it. I got this in my Michaels haul as well. Moving down, I just kept this shelf plain. Uh, I really just didn't have any more decorations, but yeah. And then here I have a lantern that I got actually in an owl crate box with a little pumpkin as well. And here I have just the glass skull that I hauled in that same haul with a little black tea light and another little pumpkin with a bone dust potion style jar which I think is really cool. And the matching spider venom potion jar with a black tea light and another little pumpkin which is metallic. This shelf I kept simple but I love how these two things look next to each other. Obviously we have my normal uh, Cruel Prince style tin book but we also have the Psychic Fortunes block which I think looks so stunning. This is another pretty simple shelf. It just has this elixir sticker that I put on a potion bottle last year with another little pumpkin that I got last year. This shelf is probably my favorite actually because it has the really cool witch hat that I got last year with the drink up witches with the cauldron on top of it that says brew and on this side we just have the sun moon and stars block and I just think that these all go so well together they look really great in my opinion and we have a cute little jack-o-lantern that's black and white and another glass bottle that I stuck a sticker on to make it more aesthetic 
And here we don't need very much explanation because here is Eddie. If you missed my haul, we named him Eddie and uh, I like that his name is Eddie and he's just, you know, reading next to a tea light. <laughs> And lastly, my Harry Potter shelf. I didn't really change anything for it. And that is all of my bookshelves. I didn't put anything on the last shelf. So here's one last overview with how the lights and everything look all together. I didn't really have any more decorations for my desk or my little bookshelf area. This bookshelf is technically being used for overflow right now since I'm out of space on my actual shelves. So that's a fun fact. And my reading nook. I love how this looks. I didn't change the blanket, but I just put the trick-or-treat pillow and it fits so perfectly right there. And the blanket actually matches the vibe of it pretty well. Other than that, I just kind of added a witch's hat on top of my lamp. I don't normally have the lamp on, guys. Don't worry. I just did it for this video to see how it would look all together. finished product of my little shoe rack that I have downstairs. I love how it turned out. Even though I was wanting more purples and everything, I do like that I kept this area just black and orange. Very classic, very Halloween, and I think it looks pretty good. Here we see a lot of the decorations that I actually bought last year that I didn't think was cute enough to put on my bookshelves but that still do a really good job of decorating this little cubicle that holds like my PlayStation and the Wii Switch and all that good stuff. So enjoy that. Oh, and Mr. Flamingo. <laughs> Just for some context, <laughs> Luna accidentally stepped in the bag that had all the command strip stuff in it and she got caught in it and she freaked out and she started running everywhere, all over the house. I finally found her after a long run under the bed and I took the bag off of her. Cats. She lost the stickies of one of the command strips, so. Uh... love how my couch area turned out. 
Here we just see my normal throw pillows and then the curiosity shop one that I got in my haul as well as the palmistry one that's going to be coming up. These look so good. They definitely bring it all together. And then here we have my little black cat pillow from last year. I love him. It's T'Challa for sure. Lastly, we have the wall art. I really hope to find more pieces to be able to put on even in this Halloween season. But for now, it's just this Hocus Pocus one that I found at Target. This good fortune be with you always that I found at Michael's. This colored pencil drawing that I actually made of Adam a couple of years ago for his birthday. So yeah, I drew that. And then we have Quit Your Witchin' and the home of a witch and her little monsters, aka me and my kitties. And over here we still have that double double toil and trouble wooden one that I found last year that I love. And I hung up that platter that I got in my haul. So that worked out. Here we just have some autumn colored flowers surrounded by candles and then we have this really cool candlestick holder with these black candles that I had last year that are dripping down. I just think it looks very good for Halloween with this little pumpkin candle that I got last year at Target. And this stuff is here year round but I still think it's pretty. And we have the wall art with the sees all, knows all, all seeing eye plaque. And the cool creepy skull and skeletons that say Mad Laboratory on it. Lastly we have my dining table and it just has this flower arrangement that my mom actually made me and the pine cones smell like cinnamon. It's amazing. And then these two very autumn candles that I love a lot. And that's it for the downstairs and for all of my Halloween decorations, so I hope you enjoyed!